So, uh, in yesterday's session, I started to uh, clean some code. I have realized that I have a factory that is uh, populated from um, the actual data and tried to remove um, the the actual factory creation and also the population part by replacing replacing the simple factory to a populated factory. In this populated fa factory, um, I create uh, a populated factory where the source, the, the center of this uh, uh, factory is the uh, the entity table, this uh, table instance itself. Uh, the link is the connected owner. And uh, it It is also the type of the entity that should be created if the required ID is missing. And I also uh, added the functionality uh, so that uh, the new instance will be uh, put uh, into the target unit. Right now, it's, it's the unit of, of my table. So return to the source, uh, I remove these uh, these code segments here, uh, these two, and replaced it with a with these two function calls, which looks funny. So let's see how it works. Load my database. See if I'm not making fun of myself. No, no problem. So um, I have the types and I have the um, uh, database type and the dust type uh, connections, but I don't yet have <coughs> data in my table. So let's. Init my connector. Yeah, no problem. And see if I can get my stores. Let's see. Yes, I have store number one and store number two see the stuff you know the stuff is now a placeholder for this entity but now i load the stuff members and i have <clears throat> the stuff entities updated and if i send it multiple times or ruin something it updates the same entity so uh, the factory that i have just created works properly uh, it connects the entity instance uh, to the same uh, table and uh, when i run the same query again and again, uh, it always finds uh, the connected entity instead of uh, loading into a new one. Uh, there's one thing I should commit my content now and see if it works fine after loading it from the, uh, from the persistent storage. Uh, 
Let's see now the circular database should contain uh, my stuff members and I should in it then load the stuff members again. and see the entity instances remained the same. Otherwise, <clears throat> of course, the number of these entities uh, would increase, but it did not. So the other way around, uh, I won't see uh, from this side. So that's nice. However, <clears throat> it is a bit um, weird that I have to follow, uh, <clears throat> go back to the circular database to find the new entities. It would be so nice. Uh, if I would see immediately uh, in my message the entities, it's funny because I can <clears throat> I can even differentiate uh, from the between uh, the entities that I have loaded and the entities that, that I have referred to. Um, I would like to put that into the message as a sort of re response. So, tutorials access entity data command. Is there clear us that says okay the entity is uh, context ref message the link definition is just generic links connected mm. well now I will use the uh, extends and the requires um, later of course uh, I should fix it and and give some more uh, meaningful links here, but right now it's just requires, and let's say that I will well, I have to check it. Um, to make sure the link definition is linked as set. That's fine. That means that uh, um, it will uh, contain only one instance of each uh, item. So um, when I refer to other entities, it is possible that I will uh, call the add ref multiple times for the same entity. But because this is a set, it will, of course, contain only once each uh, referred entity. So, what I want to do here is that uh, I initialize the columns, that's fine. I Well, let's say that at this point, when I have successfully connected all the information. <clears throat> I say set ref message connected extends and the extends will be the entity and at the same time I will also add 
the requires to this one. Question is if it works or not. Mm. Haven't changed much, so I should just send the message again to the connector and see clear refs. That's something new. I think I have not yet done this. So I just go into um damn it. Okay, but I have another. <laughs> so I, I just now I try to step into yeah context access entity get context. This is about the thread management. Of course this is uh, not a not a serious one right now. Entity resolve Access allowed, resolve context entity and change ref. Clear refs. There is no act ref because uh, so far the message didn't have uh, any references. So just let go. And Theoretically, I should just let it go because um, obviously they should be called. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god, this should be ref. But let it go with the first call. I know why it is so slow. Just continue. Okay, let's see what happened. And the message, well, it seems that I have an update problem here. So I may have to manually add the connected aspect or type to the message entity. But, it works fine, but for the first run, uh, I <clears throat> I had a source bug, so I run it again before doing anything else. Now I should see that I will uh, erase the previous connection to the other entities. Let's see how we go. This is a quite complicated code again. Um, this is also because this is just a fe feature collection now. Yes, I am removing the references. Okay, again. I, I will fix it because that's that's unacceptable. Okay, and I now uh, add the address reference and <clears throat> I put the extends the stuff because I'm just collecting the stuff number so let's see stuff one stuff two address and store sorry the stuff refers yes the stuff refers to the store fine okay so the answer was correct uh, <clears throat> with the extends, uh, I collected the actual responses, so the two stuff numbers, and the requires <coughs> contains references to the entities uh, that were referred 
uh, while I was loading the uh, the response. So right now I see that, for example, I have an address three. Let's say that I'm querying the address. It's so nice to <laughs> know the database. And okay, let it go. What happens here is that now the sorry, now the extends part. Um, is the four addresses that I have received. So, for example, address three is Brookhaven Lane. This address one is, sorry, this is this address one is whatever. <laughs> but they also refer to cities. And of course, the city is now a placeholder. <clears throat> But I don't continue. So, tactically, this is much nicer. Right now, I can see the uh, the messages. All right. Uh, as I have created a special feature to erase all the data just by sending an empty select. An empty query uh, to the process. Um, I don't want to try it because I'm afraid of <laughs> the GUI will crash. But <laughs> why not crash it? Go. Wow, it worked. It has closed all the. No, 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 the city should have been closed as well. But it did not. So yeah, this is this is not uh, not good right now. But anyway, it's obvious that <clears throat> that uh, The entities were removed, and uh, most of the windows were <laughs> closed. I don't know why the address didn't close. And maybe there were some uh, some references to to them. <clears throat> oh, just put this away. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking about uh, is a bit more interesting. Right now, my system knows uh, the reference connection between the table because it has detected it from from the meta layer from the database so if i say that i want to know how the store and the stuff sorry and the address tables are connected i know that the stuff has link definitions to address ID and store ID, and the link definition is connected uh, to the target table by its link def item type primary. So it is actually connects the stuff to the address. And of course, the same way, um, the, the store is also connected. So if I just um, move these link definitions down a bit, it becomes obvious that the address is connected by this address ID, as you see, to uh, the stuff and the, and the address. And the same way, if I look at the uh, store ID link definition, it is uh, again connects the store table to the stuff table. 
However, I would love to see uh, this connection directly. It would be so nice that I don't have to do, um, open up the link definition to find this out and just say that if I look at this table uh, or uh, this view, I would love to have some connection uh, between uh, the, the stuff and the, the address and store uh, tables. It would be really funny. And yeah, this bugged me for a while. And I know that if something bugs me, uh, I can't really continue <laughs> the, the previous action that I tried to uh, do and wanted to do. So uh, I I think I will give a try to to draw those lines too. Um, this feature, of course, uh, I have spent a few minutes on uh, thinking about this, and I have found the related sources. Uh, the user interface, like we see here, is uh, Dusky Montreux uh, Swing Montreux Desktop, and this refresh lines is the actual call to um, to draw those lines and this is the Dusk We Swing Montru links. And the refresh lines does something that uh, of course I have a lines um, what is that? It's a map between reference and the shape, uh, I clear them, run over all the processors, and I mean, I check all the references in my environment, <clears throat> and if there is a visible, if if uh, if there is a reference of which both ends are visible, then then I draw the line. Now I would like to find the connection. The connection means that I am actually looking for the link def item primary type I am looking uh, for the source type and the owner of the link definition that is the source type the store and the address and if I see them both then I would like to draw a line between the top handles of these panels. Well, that means I want to create a new reference processor Process refs new what's the problem? New ref processor where the source is now. I want all of them. The link def should be that one. I just want to see if um, Do I have it in Does it is? Oh, very nice. 
so I have a processor on no unfortunately not it's just because I wanted to avoid this get entity and the key is just meta links link that item type primary so now I will collect or get a call with each and every Each and every type that are connected with uh, an item type primary link. So If both are showing, then I am looking for the problem is that, of course, this is a quite old <coughs> code. So I don't really remember when I wrote it, but it should be obvious soon. Anchored panel, peak anchored. And peak anchored null. That's the when I this is what I need. I now try to find peak anchored. Let's add a source. That's what I want to do. These will give me the heads. And when I have two these things, Of course, this is what I should never do, but right now I want to test it immediately. What? Why? 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 I don't... I don't know what happened here. What, have I changed something? Oh, 
Okay, uh, the machine doesn't want to help me here, and it's absolutely right <laughs> to not to help me in doing this. So this is what I want to move to a new function. Oh, sorry, this is refactor extract method um, opt create link line not in the rep processor but in the monthful links Why? Okay, but I can Okay shape no okay and return Okay, um, this is because because I want to uh, differentiate between the meta shapes and Not meat. <laughs> Add shape. I want to uh, draw them with a different color. <coughs> of course, I have to clear the meta too. Clear. 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 Okay. And so when you do the paint component, you do the same thing. Contains get value. And this Call ref cell. Let's make it green. Call ref green. That's all. I always write meat, I don't know why. So if it's meta, then it should be called meta instead of normal. Right. So now I can close my application and see what I have done. OK. 
Okay, see how it will work. It says that the geometric data type <laughs> and the geometric data rule is connected. Mm. Let me say I'm fine with that. <laughs> but let's see if it goes in there. Of course, it does not. So next time I would be interested if it goes in here. So I'm interested in the connection between the store stuff and address show. And what no 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 it doesn't work so at this point Oh, well, that is because I'm not looking the right source. Um, I should also be interested in the link definition. me again because the source is the link definition itself the target is okay that's a type but the source is not the link definition. I am looking for um, the parent of this entity. Yes. So I do something like I do somewhere here when I just it's so ugly but, <laughs> but I will do it for now this is what I need SRC type is 
when I get the reference from the source and I'm looking up to Metalinks link dev parent. The link dev parent is is the real item that I'm looking for. And now I should replace here. Later on I don't use the SRC. That's the only place. Good. So see it again. I want to see the source type and the geometric data points to the geometric data role. That looks better. And yes, I have a connection between the source type of store to the target type of address. The store points to the address. Great. Oh, there are too many. Let's see. Yes, there is a green connection between the It's it's not a nice color. Let's make it blue instead. But that's one thing. Um, the other thing is that I want to have an arrow shape or whatever. Sorry. Arrowhead. Mm. Composite shape. Okay, that looks nice. At least I, I of course that's a that's not a big thing. I just want to put some um, Just to differentiate <coughs> <coughs> between the beginning and the end of this line, I will, it would also be <coughs> very nice to have it in blue. Where's the dark gray? Okay, blue. That means <clears throat> ref.
preface here. <clears throat> so, first of all, I will remove this from the lines. So when I call it with the original call, remove it from here. Now I have to handle nose on the caller side. Then it puts to the lines. <clears throat> From now on, the drawing code should also change because the meta will not contain any more shape mesh meta. Okay. At this point, I just posit it. <coughs> it's much simpler as well. So it will be meta, and I will just draw the shape. I'm happy with that. Okay. Great. <coughs> Here comes the oh. what's that? Actually, I don't really care. So I can just add the new thing here. The opt create line. Where is the line? Or arc 2D. Well. <clears throat> Contains a cause pass. Uh, 
How about Must be past. Move to <clears throat> these are ugly things. Circle. Uh, okay. So, uh, how do I draw circles? Alex today. Okay. Today. BTS zero BTS one five five okay Alex to do sorry go and letter art and dot
What? Please don't fool me. Okay, so that's all still there. Okay, sorry, then it's new. Very nice. Now, <laughs> really interested in what happens here. Uh, I think I haven't changed much, so I just initiate a call here. Show me. Something crashed. Well, never mind. I'm still really interested in this. Let's see what happened. It is PTS. I have a sort of location. I don't know if it is good or not, but at least it will create an end dot. That's that's interesting. First, let's check if I could solve the problem that I wanted to, and then see what were the side effects. <clears throat> I think I here will have plenty of room anyway. Special lab. The stuff and the store is connected. I'm probably this drawing here. I don't need to. with this anymore. I didn't 
want to open the actor, I want it to open the advance. So, yes. The address is connected properly. <laughs> the only problem is that I have put My tree is to the bad location. This is only I have one top because, and this is where the line is. Ah, uh, yes, that's much better. Although it's, of course, not the most beautiful solution. Of course, I could calculate a few things, but hmm, that's why I will not do. Um, Java field ellipse to the Okay, still we are on the ugly side, so I don't have to give much respect. To the future. of to D fill oh I don't have to very nice 
guys. But it's okay, and right like this too. So let's see. Yup. That's nice. So So I managed to connect the types. They both point to the address. Well, that's fine. I like it. The other thing that I already wanted to solve is I think the refresh lines is what causes me problems because that's a very heavy weight Task. What's that? Place. Very ugly. Static set. GUI swing Montreal links.
change them cause point if mute now I'm muting then I do nothing <laughs> okay but if it's not mute Then for muted refresh lines muted clear and in the refresh lines I do this if muted if mute and this and return. So if I mute this operation set me to false then it will be called twice and this is what I want to do in uh, complex operations like in the JDBC connector when I do this beautiful 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 thing it's a try And um, and finally, and the closing bracket. And in here, I say. It's so ugly <laughs> that it's that it's that it's I don't know how to handle this. <clears throat> but I have to be close to it, so and I'm just testing. Void. Right. It should be there. Okay. But I can't access from the JDBC connector. Oh my god. Because I am serious and that's a closed class, but now let's make it even more ugly. Come on.
Okay. But this is something I hate so much that I want to find another solution. So let's say that I'm looking for the test utils Java. Oh, test utils. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's create a new class. This is a dust that is mute on a manager. Damn it. I want to create a new class called dust utils mute manager. And The mute manager will contain this thing, but the, it also has a face view mutable. This is a void process on a <clears throat> Not mute. Very good. And another static function is. No, it's not static anymore because now it's an instance. Public. <clears throat> is muted. Is muted if mute. This is it, and I should put um, uh, 
a mute manager. Probably static file now. Utils mute manager. Mute GUI. Okay. Um, the links thing also implements dust tears mute dust tears mute manager. Mutable. Come on. Mutable. Good. These things go away. Dust the It is Java. Mute GUI is muted. This return and you release refresh lines. Mute GUI. Mute. True. But, um, yeah, I will find it later. So now, <clears throat> I managed to as and well, as I am here, I should go out and check this Montreux desktop. Because I'm now I'm really kind of tired of Is a control okay? So let's rename it to load because that's 
<clears throat> that's tiring and session change views. Yeah, I have already tried to do many things here. I just can delete this. And let's say that in this action, let's try um, it's Java mute GUI mute true. Finally, mute false. And move this to the end of the switch statement. I don't like this. This is not that anymore, but again, a factory where the key type is mutable modules, the value type is a set mutable. Done that, so that's a mutual factory simple. It is sorted and it's a hash set mutable. your problem here. No. Okay, I need the key type too. It's not a real surprise.
Can I do this? Uh... Where should I put that? Okay, and at the suppress morning. Good. So, in the mute, I will have So, get yes. mute. Is muted. Mute. 
So now I have a mute manager. in this way it can be static <coughs> and so whenever you need, you need a mood manager you don't need the series Java which is even better So, any JDBC connector, I want to say that thus it is mute manager, mute, It should go out to the dust utils. This is what you do here too. We swing the same thing. GUI. And the only thing that I have to fix now is in the links thing. it. Okay, and get module. My module is GUI. So I am a GUI. And I can be muted. <sighs> and then I can remove this public from here. This is why the whole thing was added. And uh, probably now. No such method exception. Uh oh, <laughs> all right, then uh, this was 
test you as mute manager. The problem was that the mute info as a public static class and for sure for the safety it should have a default constructor. So now you are able to create a mute info without a manager instance. That was my bad. Okay, changed it to load. Looks nicer. Okay, so and go back to it. <clears throat> I know that the so let's say how the address city country stuff and store are related to each other. And it seems that we have a nice connection between them. Of course, we know that. I would want to see it. That I have the country which is referred to from the city. The city is referred from the address. Store refers to address. Well, that's nice. So we have a visible connection between the types. I'm happy enough to commit these changes and then return to uh, the actual refactor of the JDBC connector.